Hello and welcome to another CLAD preparation video on LabVIEW Advantage. We are continuing with the daily CLAD problems. Please pause, scroll or mute if necessary to understand the problem and then resume when ready. So let's begin. You have been asked what will be the size of an array of the data acquisition data. So let's look into the configuration of our read TACMX VI first of all. If you look into the top and bottom one, both of them has been configured into 2D double yen channel yen sample. So in that case, we need to look into the uh, our hardware, how many channels we have. So if you look very carefully, both of them has been configured into two channels each. So our first element has to be two for both of them. So that basically means if you look very carefully, only the option A has got two on the beginning. So option A is the correct answer. But if you want to look into different methods, if you want to identify, first thing is that one. And then the second thing is if you look into the your clock settings as well as the your read DACMX VI setting, what you will find it out is samples per channel and the number of samples per channel are different. That basically means even if samples per channel is configured to four, it is going to acquire only two elements uh, since it is configured to number of samples per channel to two. Similarly, in the bottom one, although your number of samples per channel is configured to four, it is going to acquire only two elements because the sample clock is configured to two samples per channel. So still, the answer will be A. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos. I'll see you next on the another CLAD preparation video.